Hello! This tutorial is going to cover some advanced searching techniques. If you haven't already viewed our ProQuest and Academic Search Premier tutorials, please view those before moving on to this tutorial. Sometimes basic searching is not enough and you need to create more complicated searches to get the results you need. We will be discussing some of the ways you can take advantage of the search capabilities of our databases. Let's start with Academic Search Premier. You'll notice from the advanced search screen that the boxes are joined by drop-down menus that default to AND. These can be changed to AND, OR, or NOT. These AND, OR, and NOT are called Boolean operators and they allow you to create more controlled searches. The most basic operator is AND. AND always narrows your search. You've probably already been doing this without even realizing it. Let's see that in action. So I'm going to type in a search term like obesity. It's going to give me a lot of results because it's a broad topic. I have 89,000 results, so clearly that's not going to be very useful for me. I have to figure out a way to have fewer results. I need to narrow down, and I can do that with AND. So I'm going to narrow from just obesity to obesity and children. So now, by adding that term, I'm going to see how many of my 89,000 results also include the word children. I have 16,000 results. You can see I have narrowed by a lot, but that's still too many, so I can keep narrowing using AND, adding more search terms. I could add exercise, for example. In this way, I'm still using AND, and I'm getting fewer and fewer results by adding more search terms. There's lots more ways that I could narrow from here, but let's go back and try a new search to show you a different operator. So I'm going to take off these search terms and show you a reason why you might want to use OR. OR always broadens your search. So if you're not getting enough results or if there's more than one way to say something, that would be a good time to use OR. So I'm going to start by searching for the idea of sleeplessness. There's more than one way to say sleeplessness. I might say insomnia or I might say sleep disorder. So let's try insomnia, see how many results we get. 7,000 results. Okay, now I'm going to try searching for sleep disorder, which is another way to say that. I'm putting it in quotation marks like this because that's telling the database to search for it as a phrase, just in that order. If I didn't put it in quotation marks, the database would return just the word sleep and just the word disorder. So now I'm going to hit search. So now I have roughly 1,100 results for sleep disorder. So to see how this works, if I switch this to OR and then add insomnia back in, you'll see that the total number of results is the same as those two searches I did. So it's the first 7,000 and the second ones all together added up. And so I could have done those searches separately and seen my results, but it's obviously faster and easier for me to look at them all at once, and I can do that with OR. Now let's say I want to know about treatments for insomnia or sleep disorder. I need to look for the words insomnia or sleep disorder along with the word treatment. In order to do this, think of it as a mathematical equation. I need to put sleep disorder and insomnia together first because I want either of those in combination with the word treatment. So that's, this is what that's going to look like in the database. I need to put sleep disorder or insomnia together. And just like in math, I'm going to put them in parenthesis together because I'm putting those as one. And then I'm going to change this to AND because I want either of those in combination with the word treatment. So just like a math equation, sleep disorder or insomnia together with AND treatment and hit search. Now I'm going to have some articles that use the word sleep disorder with treatment and some articles that use the word insomnia with treatment. And again, you could research those or search those separately, but if you do it all at once, you're going to have one list of results to page through, which is clearly easier. Okay, let's look at the last Boolean operator, NOT. NOT is probably the least used, but it also narrows your search, like AND does, but in a different way. So, let's say I was searching on the idea of uh, maritime piracy that's been in the news a lot lately, pirates from Somalia, etc. So, if I type in the word piracy and hit search, I'm going to get some results that are about maritime piracy that I'm interested in, like this first one is but there could be other ones that are about the idea of intellectual piracy, music piracy, like these two are. And I don't want those because they're mucking up my search. I have 7,000 results and I don't know how many of them are about maritime piracy and how many of them are about this copyright piracy idea. So I can get rid of the ones about copyright using not. 
going to change my drop down menu to not and piracy copyright is this idea that I don't want so I'm going to say piracy but not copyright and then hit search so it's going to take my initial list and it's going to remove all of those articles that included the word copyright so I'm going to get a much more focused search just on my topic don't forget about all the other ways there are to narrow and make your search more useful there's under refine your results over here you always want to come over here and use this to make your results better full text very important that allows you to find things that you can read online in their entirety you can also choose scholarly if that's a part of your assignment and don't forget about the date bar if your topic is something that's happening currently you're not going to want stuff from 1867 you know you might want things from only the last 10 years let's say you can make that adjustment hit the update button and that will further narrow down your list of results and make it more useful for your topic if you have any questions about these advanced searching techniques or if you'd like to sit down with a librarian and devise a search strategy for your specific topic we would love to help you please come to the library and check it out